my name is Daniel Mason and I can categorically tell you that I have never met Travis Harry in my life. But somehow, Providence has put us together for the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Hello, hello everybody. A pleasant good day to one and all. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Hesron Travis Harry and I'm a patriot at heart. I'm one of those Vincentians who is absolutely in love with our people, our way of life, and our culture. I cut across no party lines. Hooray for the people of SVG, man. If this whole situation was a movie, it would be called The Matrix. Travis Harry would be Morpheus. And I, I'm just a tech guy. We need to mobilize the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to realize their true potential. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of serious issues at hand. I would like to appeal to the younger demographics to come forward and join us. Let's mobilize together. In history, we've seen great men like Marcus Garvey. I have a video here that I'd like to share with you. These are the words of Dr. Dale Dangleben from Point Michelle, Dominica. He is a trauma surgeon and medical director in the United States. This is an excerpt from his upcoming book, My Reflections. Where is Marcus? Where are the great leaders who set the path for the Caribbean? The fearless men and women like Busa, Tula, Kofi, Jacko, Nani, Kudjo, Bogol, and Aponte, the rebels against slavery, burning down plantations to free their people, the revolutionary spirit of the greats like Tusa, Christoph, Dessalines, and Doughty Bookman, not even the short egotistical maniac Napoleon with his army could stop them. The appreciation of our Africanists like Marcus Gavi. I am still looking for him in the whirlwind and the storm to take me back to Africa. The greats like Eric Williams, Forbes Burnham, Walter Rodney, Cecil Rall, men of great intellect who understood the struggle against colonialism. Let's not forget the great women like Elma Francois, Claudia Jones, and Nanny that African matriarchal energy they embodied and they fought even in an era when they were told women had no right to the times when our leaders were deeply spiritual and rooted in culture of Africa. Who is our Kwame Touré or our Franz Fanon? Men of vision and willingness to stand for what they believed in. We are left with a bed of corrupted leaders who were forced south and sold us back into colonialism. Our ancestors are crying as our fake leaders are using rhetoric of inclusion while their action is that of suppression and oppression. No vision of African culture but with loyalty to China and Russia. They have killed the dreams of the youths as the Caribbean becomes a basin of mendicancy. Leaders by degrees instead of hard work, a sad example for the children. They have turned to selling their birthrights to increase their financial worth. So the youths turn and look for quick rewards, and the epidemic of drugs and alcoholism washes at the shores of the West Indies. I see Tusa crying. I see Gavi crying. I see Nanny and Kudjo crying. Where are our strength to burn it all down to the ground again to start over? May the higher power you believe in continue to guide the lost souls of the Caribbean. Let us step forward in the deepest of Garviite consciousness and take back what's rightfully ours. Rise up, my people. Open your minds and never be slaves again. I say long live Bala. I say long live Jacko. I say long live the Neg Mao. Guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it and you actually got the message. It is time to mobilize and unite as one. One voice. One cause. To bring about change in St. Vincent and the Grenadines.